Okay, mga kawawmat, in this video, we will graph linear equations using the intercept method. So, what will be our objective? Since we are getting the intercept, or we will be using the intercepts, of course, we have to define the x and y intercepts. Next is we are going to look for the x and y intercepts, and then we will graph the linear equation ax plus by equals c using the intercept method. So, after we uh, look for the uh, x and y intercept. So, in linear equation in two variables, so again, if you want to know more about linear equations in two variables, so we have a video tutorial about this. So, you can go back to the previous video so you can have an idea before you know, uh, learn, before you proceed uh, to the graphing of linear equations. So, dapat alam muna natin ang uh, idea or concept about linear equations in two variables. But, uh, for your information, so, a linear equation in two variables is written in standard form or it can also be written in slope-intercept form. So, in standard form, we have ax plus by equals c. So, as you can see, we have two variables here. And then your A, B, and C are real numbers, okay? But in this video tutorial, we will focus on how to graph linear equations in two variables. So again, we have different ways in graphing a linear equation in two variables. So marami tayong paraan, okay? First is using the table of values na uh, i-diniscuss ko bago itong video na to. So, pwede mo siyang balikan. Yung using table of values, uh, meron po tayo nitong tutorial, yung previous video bago po ito. And then, the next one is intercept method and the slope intercept method. So, in this video, we will focus on the intercept method. Okay? Now, how are we going to graph using the intercept method? So, first... Locate the x-intercept. So, when we are getting the x-intercept, we have to let your y is equal to 0. So, kapag kinukuha natin ang x-intercept natin, ang y natin, i-equal natin siya sa 0. Same as y. So, kapag ang kinukuha naman natin ay y-intercept, we have to let our x is equal to 0. So, when we are getting y-intercept, kung ito naman ang kukunin natin, ang x natin ay equal sa 0. So, ito po ang kailangan nating makuha. So, x and y intercept. So, we have draw after locating or finding the x and y intercept. So, we have to draw a straight line through those points. So, kapag nakuha na natin si x intercept and y intercept, magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng ordered pair. So, ipaplat natin siya at magdodraw o igagraph na natin siya through those points. And then after that, for us to check, we can find a third point. Pwede tayong kumuha ng isang point. So, mag-a-assign tayo ng any value, either x or y. It's up to you. Then, solve for the other variable. Ito, yung third point na to, gagamitin natin siya para ma-check natin. Kung yung x and y intercept natin o yung point na yon na makukuha natin, ay maglalay doon sa graph ng x and y intercept. Alright, so let's proceed. So let us define first what is x and y intercept. So x intercept, if the line crosses the x axis, so it is written as a comma 0, so ito po yun, ito po siya, ayan. So if the line crosses, kapag ayun, nag-cross siya dun sa x axis mo, then, the number A, ito po, is the x-intercept of the line. So, kapag nakita mo itong point na to, ay nag-cross dito sa x-axis mo, itong, uh, ang ordered pair niya is your, yung ating A, comma, 0. So, yung A natin, this is your x-intercept o yung x-coordinate mo. Okay? This is the x-coordinate of the given point. Okay? How about y-intercept? So, if the line crosses the y-axis, which is your 0, comma, b, then the number b, your b here, is the y-intercept of the line. So, ito po siya. If your line crosses the x-axis, ay, the y-axis rather, so, yung y-axis natin, kapag yung line mo nag-cross doon sa y-axis mo, syempre, may point yan, kaya siya nag-cross dyan. So, ibig sabihin, 
Ito po, ito po yung ordered pair niya. So, 0, comma, B, where your B is your Y coordinate of the given point. So, yung Y coordinate ng given point na to is your Y intercept. At yung uh, X coordinate ng given point na to is your X intercept. So, again, your X intercept crosses the X axis. Your Y intercept crosses your Y axis. So, let's have an example. So, I have here 3x minus 4y equals negative 12. So, para makuha natin ang x-intercept natin to find the x-intercept, we will let y is equal to 0. So, palagi pong ganun. Kapag kinukuha natin ang x-intercept, yung y natin, 0 to. Okay? So, paano? 3x minus 4y equals negative 12. So, 3x minus 4. So, yung y mo gagawin mong 0 equals negative 12. So, therefore, this is 0 na. So, we will have 3x minus 0 is equal to negative 12. So, we will now have 3x is equal to negative 12. So, for us to cancel the coefficient of your x, so, divide both sides by 3. So, makakancel na siya ngayon. So, we will now have negative 12 divided by 3. So, x is equal to negative 4. Bakit negative 4? Different signs sila. Okay? So, again, for us to find the x-intercept para makuha natin ng x-intercept, yung y natin gagawin natin 0. Okay? Makukuha mo ngayon si x-intercept. Ano nga ulit ang ordered pair kapag nakuha na ang value ng x, di ba? Uh, this will become your x-coordinate and your y-coordinate will become 0. So, negative 4 and then your y is 0. So, therefore, we will have your x-intercept is Negative 4, since this is negative 4, so negative 4, 0. So, ito po yung ordered pair natin. Since ito na nga po yung x-intercept mo, ito ngayon ang ordered pair natin. Nakuha mo yung x-intercept na negative 4, and then your y is 0. Okay? Next, for us to find naman the y-intercept, so, we will let x is equal to 0. So, baliktad lang siya, no? Ngayong y-intercept ang hinahanap natin, Ang x-intercept naman ang gagawin natin, 0. So, anong gagawin natin? So, eto, we will have 3 times 0. So, magiging 0 naman si x. Yung y naman ang hahanapin natin ngayon. Yung y coordinate. So, we will have negative 4y kasi magiging 0 na to. So, negative 4y is equal to negative 12. Okay? So, for us to cancel negative 4, i-divide natin siya by both sides by negative 4. So, we will cancel negative 4. Now, therefore, our y-intercept is negative 12 divided by negative 4. That is positive 3. So, y is equal to 3. So, our y-intercept is positive 3. So, y is equal to 3. Now, what is our ordered pair? Our ordered pair is since ang x mo ay 0, your y is 3. So, x coordinate is 0, your y coordinate is 3. So, we have 0, 3. Okay, how are we going to graph this? Okay, so we will have, let us plot negative 4, 0. So, negative 4, start with the x-axis, 0. So, ito na siya. So, dapat dito ang point mo. Ayan. And then, the... Again, this is your negative 4, 0. And then, let us plot 0, 3. So, 0, 3. Asan kay ang 0, 3? Ito po. So, dapat nandito ang point mo. Ayun. So, this is your 0, 3. Now, let us draw or graph a line connecting these points. So, ah, sabi ko nga kanina, yung step natin doon, after mong mahanap ang x and y intercept mo, uh, hahanap tayo o mag assign tayo ng isang point. So, paano tayo mag uh, mag um, maghahanap pa ng isang point? Okay, so mag assign tayo ng isang value sa x natin. Pwede rin namang y. Okay, it's up to you. Pwedeng x, pwedeng y. So, para saan itong isang point na to? Para makakuha tayo ng ordered pair. Para ma-check natin kung maglalay siya dito sa line na to. Okay? So, tingnan natin. So, ako nag-assign nito ha. Gusto ko 2. So, let x is equal to 2. So, given the uh, linear equation, so 3x minus 4y, 
uh, is equal to negative 12. So, isa substitute ko si 2 doon sa uh, x. So, 3 times 2, that is 6. Minus 4y is equal to negative 12. So, negative 4y is equal to negative 12. Using APE, minus 6, minus 6. So, 12, negative 12 minus 6 na siya. And then, so negative 4y is equal to negative 18. Negative 12 minus 6, this is negative 18. So divide both sides by negative 4. Pag dinivide natin to both sides by negative 4, makakancel na si negative 4. So therefore, this is also negative 18 divided by negative 4. So same sign sila, magiging positive na siya. So 18 over 4 na. Now, we can still reduce. Pwede pa natin i-lowest term itong si 18 divided by 4. And that is 9 over 2. Bakit? Kasi 18 divided 2, that is 9. 4 divided 2, that is 2. So, therefore, our ordered pair here is 2, 9 over 2. So, 2, 9 over 2. Now, subukan natin itong i-plot. So, sabi ko nga, we are getting the third point. So, by assigning values of x or pwede rin sa y, para ma-verify lang po natin. Okay? So, we have 2, 9 over 2. Now, 9 over 2 is equivalent to 4.5. Apat at kalahate. Okay? So, this is your 2. And then, 4.5. Dito siya. Okay? So, ayan po siya. So, this is your 2, 9 over 2. So, as you can see, the third point lies on the line, yung graph natin. Okay? Next. So, this is the graph of 3x minus 4y equals negative 12. Okay, let's have the next example. So, I have 2x plus 3y equals 9. So, to find the x-intercept, ganun ulit. Let y is equal to 0. So, we will have 2x plus 3 times 0 equals 9. So, 2x plus 0 equals 9. So, we will have 2x is equal to 9. Divide both sides by 2. Cancel si 2. So, x is equal to 9 over 2. Okay? So, meron na tayong x-intercept. So, what is our ordered pair? We have 9 over 2, comma, 0. Okay? So, 9 over 2, comma, 0. So, since uh, y is equal to 0, therefore, this is 0. Okay? Let's find the y-intercept. So, kapag y-intercept naman, x is equal to 0 naman tayo. So, we will have... 2x plus 3y equals 9. So, ito naman ang gagawin nating 0. So, 2 times 0 plus 3y equals 9. So, 2 times 0, that is 0. Plus 3y equals 9. So, we will have, wala na tong value. So, 3y equals 9. Divide both sides by 3. So, cancel si 3. 9 divided by 3, that is, so y is equal to 3. Now, this is now our y-intercept. Okay, so since we have now our y-intercept, therefore, what is our ordered pair? So, this will become your y-coordinate, and this is your x. So, 0, 3. Okay, so 0, 3 po ang ating ordered pair. Now, let us plot the points. So, let us plot 9 over 2, 0. So, again, 9 over 2 is 4.5. Okay, 4.5. So, 9, oh, uh, 4 and a half, and then 0. So, ito po siya. So, ayan po. Okay. So, again, so since this is your x-intercept, as you can see, it crosses the x-axis. And then, this one, 0, 3. So, ito po siya. 0, 3. Okay. So, this is your 0, 3. So, as you can see, your y-intercept crosses your y-axis. So, let us uh, draw a line, graph the points. Okay. Now, for us to check, para ma-verify natin, mag-assign pa tayo ng isa pang values. So, I will let x is equal to negative 3. So, again ha, pwede kayong mag-assign ng any values dito. So, negative 3. So, given the equation, 2x plus 3y is equal to 9. So, 2 times negative 3, that is negative 6, plus 3y equals 9. So, 3y, 9, eto ay plus 6, plus 6. So, we have 3y is equal to 15. Okay? Divide both sides by 3. Pag dinivide natin yan both sides by 3, makakancel si 3 dito. And then, this is 15 divided by 3. So, that is over 5. Okay? So, our y is 5. So, therefore, our ordered pair is negative 3, yung x mo na inassign na values ng x. 
and then yung 5 mo which is your y. So, negative 3, 5 is our third point. Okay? I-plot natin siya. So, this is negative 3. This is 5. Okay. So, nag-lie siya doon sa ating graph o yung sa line natin. Okay. So, this is the graph of uh, 2x plus 3y equals 9. Okay, let's have the last example. So, I have negative 3x plus 15 over 2. So, again, to find the x-intercept, let y is equal to 0. So, gagawin natin itong 0. So, ayan na siya. So, negative 3x plus 15 over 2. So, we will have 3x. So, ito ay nilipat ko na sa kabila. So, 3x equals 5, uh, 15 over 2. So, gagawin natin, divide both sides by 3. So, makakancel ngayon si 3. Okay? So, paano tayo magdi-divide dito, Ma'am, how are we going to divide this? So, kapag nagdi-divide tayo ng ganito, kukunin mo yung reciprocal ng denominator. Okay? Lagi pong ganon. And then, proceed to multiplication. So, paano po yan? So, 15 over 2. And then, reciprocal nito, since this is 3 over 1, so 1 third ang reciprocal niya. And then, proceed to multiplication. Palagi pong ganon. 15 over 2, and then get the reciprocal, so magiging 1 third, and then proceed to multiplication. Now, let us multiply. So, 15 times 1, that is 15. 2 times 3, that is 6. Okay? So, therefore, our x intercept is 15 over 6. Now, pwede pa natin to i-reduce, which is, pwede siyang maging uh, 5 over 2. Okay, bakit 5 over 2? Kasi 15 divided by 3, that is 5. 6 divided by 3, that is 2. So, 5 over 2. So, our x-intercept is 5 over 2. So, yung x-coordinate natin is 5 over 2, 0. Okay, let's have that. Next one. So, our y-intercept is... So, anong gagawin natin? Let x is equal to 0 para makuha natin si y-intercept. So, y is equal to negative 3. Ito po palagi ang gagamitin natin ha, kung ano yung given. So, negative 3, yung x naman ng 0 natin para makuha natin si y-intercept. So, negative 3 times 0, that is 0. So, 15 over 2. So, therefore, our y is 15 over 2. Alright? So, our y-intercept is 0, 15 over 2. Okay? Now, 15 over 2 is 7.5 or 7.5 para mas madaling i-plot mamaya sa ating graph. Okay. So, let us plot 5 to 0. So, 5 divided by 2 is actually 2.5. So, 2.5. Ito po siya. So, 2.5, 0. So, as you can see, our x-intercept crosses your x-axis. Okay? And then, yung y-intercept natin, 0, 15 over 2. 15 over 2 is actually 7.5. So, dito po yan. 7.5. Okay? So, ayun po siya. 0, 15 over 2. Now, so, it crosses the y-axis. Okay? Your y-intercept crosses your y-axis. Your x-intercept crosses your x-axis. So, let us connect those points. Ayan po siya. Now, let us uh, find another point. So, assign tayo ng values ng x. So, I will let x is equal to 1. So, para ma-verify po natin. So, negative 3 times 1. Okay. Now, halimbawa, ma'am, pwede bang hindi na i-verify? Uh, if you, Yes, pwede naman. So, para lang maipakita ko that uh, whenever we assign values of x dun, or sa y, uh, maglalay pa rin siya dito sa line na to. Okay. So, y is equal to negative 3 times 1. So, we are using this uh, equation, ha, yung given. So, y is equal to negative 3 times 1 plus 15 over 2. So, y is equal to negative 3 times 1, that is negative 3 plus 15 over 2. So, paano naging 9 over 2? Okay, pwede kang gumamit ng LCD, which is 2. Okay. So, pwede rin naman yung butterfly methods. Ang butterfly method, ito, i-times mo to, i-times mo pa ganun. Okay? Times to, times mo pa ganun, and then times mo yung denominator. So, negative 3 times 2, that is negative 6. 
15 times 1, since wala, yung denominator nito ay 1, 15. So, negative 6 plus 15, that is positive 9. Ulitin ko, pwede kang gumamit ng butterfly method, negative 3 times 2, that is negative 6, and then 15 times 1, that is 15. So, negative 6 plus 15, that is positive 9. Okay, paano naman nakuha yung uh, denominator? Kasi this is 1 times 2. So, that is 2. So, 9 over 2. So, our third point or ordered pair is 1, 9 over 2. So, i-plot natin. 1 and 9 over 2. 9 over 2 is 4.5. Okay, so 1 and then 4.5. So, it must be here. So, ayun po siya. So, this is the point of 1, 9 over 2. Okay. So, this is the graph of y is equal to negative 3x plus 15 over 2. So, this is how we graph linear equations using intercepts. Again, for us to find the x-intercept, let y is equal to 0. Para naman mahanap ang y-intercept, let x is equal to 0. And for you to verify your graph, Pwede ka pa mag-assign ng isang values of x or y and then plot the third point. Okay? Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.